you guys. Great. I want to thank you so much for being on the Belder BB show. You know, we're in Dallas, Texas. Yeah, I love Dallas. Well, thank you so much. <clears throat> Excuse me. I've been on vacation. My voice didn't want to come back with me. I don't know why. But we're going to talk about today. I got two great books in. I was very pleasantly surprised when I got back. And if you don't mind, John Luke, I'm going to start with Miss Kay because she, you know, women are always first in my world. So I'm going to start with Miss Kay. All right. Thank sounds you. good. Miss Kay, I've got a Robertson family Christmas with a great family photo on the back. And Willie's Red Necktie Machine. That's John Luke. Tell me about this great photo on the back of your book, and then just give me a little bit about the book. Oh, well, now that we're in TV, we take a lot of photos. We really do, but I love each and every one of them. And um, the book is just, um, I've always loved books. I always grew up hanging out in the library in the little town I was from, and I have loved books ever since. And I think it's very interesting. Important. John Luke will talk about this more about kids reading. But my book is all about a troubled teen that just comes from the north down to the south with uh, an expectation that's not very good of us. And uh, I think he leaves going away with a whole different aspect of us. And in the book, we just try to teach him about our faith, about our family, and about our um, fun and our good food. And... Um, he really comes hopeless, and he leaves going home with some hope. Okay, I think that's great. Let me ask you, Miss Kay, I love the premise of the book, Coming from the North to the South. I'm married to a guy from the North, and I'm from New Orleans. I thought you might have been. Yeah, <laughs> and when people have different expectations of, of you or me just based on geographical location, and I know sometimes people have different expectations on you, because you're probably really strong in your faith. How do you guys handle that? Well, we just handle it day to day the best we can. And, uh, I mean, we just shouldn't prejudge about because you never know about people. But I do know that, you know, I guess there is seriously differences. Of course there is from a geographical aspect. But what we need to know is we can, we all have something in common and we can share that. But, um... Yeah, it's different, you know, when you do have uh, this. And, and like I say, in this boy's mind, we were just country bumpkins, you know, and that's it. So he learned something a little bit different. And we're still country. I'm kind of, since we're so crazy, maybe we could be called country bumpkins, but it's fun. Country is in now, okay? I know. <laughs> that's true. Yeah, we're finally in now. Okay, John Luke, you've got Willie's Red Neck Time Machine. Tell me a little about that. Well, that that's the first book in a four-part series. But there's really a series in, in all of them, in every book. It's about, the, the book's about choices, and you can make your own choices going through going through it. And that's that's it was like the inspiration to, to teach young kids that, that life is about choices and and even if you make a wrong choice, you can always start over. And I need to let my audience know, in case you don't know, John Luke Robertson is the oldest son of Carrie and Willie Robertson. Corey. Corey. Oh, okay, you're the oldest one. Okay, so you get to break out of the mold. Okay, great. And this is one in the series of four? Yes, yes, ma'am. All right, then. Well, I wish you good luck. It sounds like it's going to be a bestseller. If I could wrap up with Miss Kay. Miss Kay, family is so important. It really is. But some people, I think, play at family. That's just my opinion. Right. That's true. What holds your family together? Because as they start to get older and wiser and educated... And we live in such a mobile society, people stray away from family. So what is, could you, can I get some inspiration from you? Well, all I know is I believe our family, basically ours, is held together by our common faith in God, of course, first. But the other is a sense of just enjoying. Like right now, all my kids live on the same street. I mean, how cool is that? I can come visit all of them one in one neighborhood. And uh, my the little ones, uh, younger than John Luke, they always say, 
I think it's so cool because they say, I love growing up with my cousins. And so that for us is just super great. I only have one grandson away from us right now. He's in Nashville, but, um, and of course, everybody knows Sadie's in California for two months. But other than that, we just love being together. I don't know. Maybe it's a good food. Good food will bring them home. I'm from New Orleans. I still bring them home with good food, Miss Kay. We, you know what my motto is, if you feed them, they will come. They will. They love a free meal, if nothing else. <laughs> Ms. Kay, you are a delight. Thank I want you. to thank you so much. And thank, thank you for you. bringing the young, budding entrepreneur, John Luke. I really thank you. And when you guys want us to watch Duck Dynasty? Uh, you mean when's it coming back on for the uh, new season or what? You will love it. I'm telling you, we've done some great shows. I know. I watch you guys. You guys are hilarious. Some of the people look like the people in my family. So I thank you so much, Miss Kay Robertson. Thank you. Thank you.